Early to mid-1940s, the B-24 Liberator was used heavily in World War II. Each B-24 had a 10-man crew, and the most dangerous job was the bottom turret gunner. Tonight in The Price of Freedom, Josh Rowe has the story of a Chattanooga man who did 21 combat missions as a bottom turret gunner. Josh. Kim Calvin, James K. Gribble grew up in Nashville, graduated high school in 1941. Just a few months after that, the draft age was lowered to 18. Mr. Gribble was drafted and sent to fight in World War II. That's our plan after. After what? After our crash. Where did you crash? We got shot up over Munich. James K. Gribble's first missions were flown out of a base in Northern Africa in 1944. And then we flew our missions out of Benghazi into Greece and Italy. We were bombing Italy and Southern France and um, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria. Yugoslavia. He came home with some injuries. He received a purple heart from the flak they took over Munich. In my head and my hip. And um, uh, it, it, I call it superficial, mm -hmm. is what the, uh, the medic said. But he bled a lot. <laughs> and I thought I was going to die, but I didn't. In all, he did 31 missions during the war and after. 21 were combat missions. 10 were supply missions to POW camps. And this is the second crash. And that's my original photo. So you were shot down twice? No, one time, one time we just blew a tire on takeoff. Late in the war, they moved from the base in Africa. They found us a base in Least Italy, which is in the Bay of Toronto. Of the hollow, the, the heel of Italy, mm -hmm. that's Mussolini's naval base, and that our whole group moved there. He found things in Italy that he's held on to ever since. In a small closet in the back of Mr. Gribble's basement, 70 years of history. Ah. That, that's my uniform, but I can't get in. He found this flag on a submarine off the coast of Italy. So what is this? That's a German uh, Luftwaffe Air Force uniform. He found this in a locker while looking for a light bulb. He says he was allowed to bring the uniforms and flag home to Tennessee. He's not allowed any firearms. But he brought one of those back too. He also has lots of photos of things he did and the things he saw. Yeah, this is one of the bombing missions. James Gribble is 94 years old now, but he can talk for hours about flying over Central Europe when he was 19. I was young and I didn't think nothing ever happened to me. Mr. Gribble came back from the war, worked for GE for several years. When he was in his mid-30s, he moved to Chattanooga to open his own electrical supply business. He's been here ever since. Kim. Josh, thank you so much. Of course, if you want to see that story again or any of the other Price of Freedom, just go to newschannel9.com.